Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is always a good time to spend uh, these moments with you, my dear brothers and sisters, where I share God's word, where we get to know what God has in stock for you. My brothers and sisters, God has good plans. God means you well. So when I share these amazing words, these are words to bless you. These are words to encourage you. These are videos that are going to uh, lift you up. My brothers and sisters, stay strong in the Lord. I have a very powerful word for you. For someone who's watching right now, there is someone you need to pay close attention. Someone who has come into your life. Someone who is around you. Someone who is pretending. My brothers and sisters, don't take things for granted. There are people that are watching you. There are people that are interested in bringing you down. There are people that have mastered the art of manipulation. They have watched everything that you do. They monitor you. They know what you you, you, you do what, where you walk to, what you eat. Be very careful of them. Some of them are agents. Agents of destruction. They are agents of destruction. They want to destroy your life. They want to alter your destiny. That's why some of you, God sends you visions. Some of you are watching right now. You have dreams. You have dreams when God is warning you. When God is telling you to be careful about this person. But some of you cannot understand what you are, what you are seeing in the dreams. My brothers and sisters, God reveals to redeem. Some of you, the person may be so close to you at your workplace. Some of you are studying in your school. So be very careful who you interact with. Don't easily trust people because people will betray you. Every person that comes to your life is a potential betrayer. I'm not saying that every person is a betrayer, no. But every person, every friend that you have can turn into an enemy. So trust God. You see, Jesus had 12 disciples. 12 disciples. One betrayed him. Another rejected him. Yes. The betrayer was Judas Iscariot. The one who rejected him was Peter. Actually, in the actual sense, if you, if you read the scriptures, you realize that all of them rejected Jesus. Because there were nowhere. How do I know that his disciples rejected him? There were nowhere to be seen when Jesus was being, was being questioned, when, when, he was, when he was crucified. The disciples scattered. That's why you see the Bible. The, if you read it, the Bible says, strike the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. That is true. And that's what the enemy seeks. That's why the enemy is so interested in you. Because he knows that you have a calling on your life. He wants to destroy your life so that those that follow you will scatter. Brothers and sisters, before you trust someone, find out who that person is. Before you show them your house, before you show them what you have, before you tell them about your dreams, have you found out their motives? Samson was so quick to tell Delilah, his motives, his dreams, the secret of his strength. He was so quick. Ask yourself, why are they asking you the same question over and over again? Why do they want to know the source of your strength? Why are they so interested in your dreams? Ask yourself that question. When Joseph told his dreams to his family, this was, this was his family. They betrayed him. They wanted to kill the dreamer. 
Some of you people want to kill the dreamer. The brothers and sisters, it is the end of the world. Until next time, shalom.